I'm Scott from Mercury Mechanical and I'm here today to show you how to use Hobo Data Loggers to monitor and troubleshoot a typical HVAC rooftop unit. We're going to use two loggers today. The first one, we're going to measure temperature and amperage. And what we've done is we've run our temperature probe through the unit into the supply duct on the other side of the unit. And we're going to plug this into channel 1 on the logger, which has been set up to read the temperature. We're going to take our amp probe and we're going to measure our compressor amperage with this. We're going to clip that right onto the wire feeding the compressor. Then we're going to plug that into channel 2, which has been set up for amperage on the logger. Then we're going to tuck these right inside the control cabinet out of the way. Now our amperature, amperage and supply temperature is ready to log. Now we're going to mount our return air temperature and our relative humidity sensor in the return air of the duct work. We're going to use the Velcro adhesive that's supplied with the logger. We're going to mount this right on the ductwork. And then we're all set to read our return air temperature and humidity of the space. So to recap what we've done today, we set up our two loggers to measure supply temperature, compressor amperage, return air temperature, and relative humidity of the space. Both of our loggers are set up mounted in the unit. The interval is going to be one minute reads and we're going to measure these for 10 days and then come back and analyze the data. Thanks. Hi, this is Scott from Mercury Mechanical. We're down here in the office to check out the results of our two data loggers that we had on a carrier rooftop unit. And we have our two files saved. This was our first logger with our supply air temperature and our amperage and voltage is listed here but we did not use that so I'll uncheck that and then we hit plot to see our graph. And this graph here is showing in the black our temperature readings and in the blue our amperage readings off our unit compressor. So we can see that the logging started on 1021 at noon time uh, with a temperature of about 72 degrees and zero amper on the compressor based on the fact it was not running right away. This is our graph. We have our temperature readings here on the left hand side. On the right is our amp readings, uh, both scaled to the, the ranges of our log. And down at the bottom here shows our dates. So we have uh, 1027, this line here would be 1028, 1029, so on and so on. This table up here shows our logging points, which was one every minute. So we can go through every single day for every minute, see our temperature and our amperage. Now this particular unit, we did have some swings, but only in the ambient temperature. We did not see any action from this particular rooftop unit. We have uh, a zero amp draw on our compressor throughout the full log on this particular unit. So for whatever reason our compressor never came in. There was no call for air conditioning on this particular system. Uh, we do see in a couple points our temperature inside the supply duct got up to 76 degrees. Uh, our sensor was about 10 feet down from the unit itself. Uh, we'll be more concerned with the space temperature uh, slash our return air temperature which is on our second logger which I'll show you in a minute. So we can see along our graph here, uh, the summary of it here, I mean we can see the temperature dip down to 60 at uh, this particular night and a couple times reached 76 degrees, again this is in the supply air duct. Uh, most of the time we'd be looking for supply air temperatures during a call for cooling or heating uh, from this particular graph. Uh, since we don't have that, we don't have anything on the heating end either with the supply temp being at a high of 76 we would have seen something in the 120 degree range if the unit called for heating at any particular point. 
So this goes down. We can see again we're on 1027, 658, 659, logging every minute all the way to the end of the log. So the temperature and amperage. So that was logger number one, supply air temp and compressor amperage. Again, there was more or less a zero across the board on the compressor amperage and supply temp anywhere from 76 down to a couple of nights of 59, 60 degrees. So when we're done with this project, we will close this one out, go back in some of our recent files and load logger number two. Now logger number two we mounted in the return air temperature of the rooftop unit. It was also reading our relative humidity percentage. And we'll plot those two points. And here's our graph of that. Again, we have the temperature in black, relative humidity percentage in the blue. Our logger was started on the same date, same time as logger number one. Our return air temp, which also we could call our space temperature 71 degrees with 46% humidity in the space. Again, we have our temperature on the left hand side and our humidity percentage on the right hand side over here and our dates down at the bottom. We of course can see the swings of both across our graph and for the most part without this unit running too much uh, everything stayed within a normal range some dips in temperature at night and some spikes during the days but for the most part the humidity percentage stayed within a normal range and that sums up our history on this unit for the last week in which we can then take to our customer and show them and decide whether there were any issues problems with this particular system. That pretty much sums up the supply air temp, return air temp, compressor amperage, and relative humidity on this particular rooftop unit on this project. Thanks for watching.